guys, how are you? I have had an idea recently when I was in the shower and of course I wanted to share because I cannot stop talking. <laughs> so I think, it, well, it's definitely not my idea and it's not me, but I feel like there is one universal thing that you can put everything else in this same box and it will be kind of the root cause of every problem in life or at least in our relationship with ourselves which in the end reflects everything that surrounds us and happens to us in life and i feel like this is the disconnection from the sense of being loved and i hope that you don't get distracted by the choice of words that i'm gonna make because i feel like a lot of people don't like the spiritual vocabulary and I also feel like it distracts a lot of people from actually getting valuable knowledge, at least a lot of people that I know. So please, please, please try to see through the words that I'm going to use because you can replace them with whatever word fits. The important thing is the sense and the meaning behind the words that I'm saying. So I feel like the disconnection from the universal love, or you can say it like the higher being, God, whatever you want to call it, the universe, the source of life, the source of light, whatever you name it. I think everyone, even the agnostics, even the atheists, kind of have this sensation of there is something out there larger than life, larger than us. So I feel like we are disconnected from it the trauma of being born and whatever because i kind of feel like when we come to this world we just float inside our mothers and we feel united to everything and so on but okay let's not start there because otherwise this video will take like an hour and you're not going to watch it but we throughout our lives get disconnected from it because of the way that we were brought up or because of the society because of the ideas that we get in our heads and it's not the blame the parents o'clock i don't want to say that our parents are responsible for that although they kind of are but in the end we get brought up in a society and the society is built the way that we feel disconnected from this feeling of being deserving, of being loved, of being deserving of love, of being deserving of everything that we want and have. And I feel like most of the time, like 99.5% of the time that I work with my coach is kind of restoring, going from different situations, but like every time it goes back to restoring this belief of that I am deserving of love and I am kind of connected to it all the time anyway and I don't need other people, other things and whatever to be kind of the mediator of that because a lot of the times we substitute this. So we actually, every one of us has like a direct connection to it, let's say like up and down, but we, depending on the personality of how we were brought up and so on, we get this idea that if we are alone, we are not deserving. Or if we are not making enough money, we are not deserving. If we don't have enough degrees, if we don't have enough success, if we don't have enough friends, like you name it. I felt like I am so disconnected from it and that I'm so undeserving and a burden to everyone that knows me and so on. Of course, it has been like that many, many years ago right now. It's not like this anymore, but I still have stuff to work through, obviously, as everyone does. And I feel like if kind of we could just shake off which is not so simple but all these beliefs we could be connected to it like in the moment and we could realize that actually no person no amount of money no job title no nothing can ever replace this or ever give it to us look at the richest people in the world like they are chasing money because they feel like it's the source of happiness and there is nothing wrong with money but it's not about the money like they want to feel this connection i'm pretty sure but they never get enough of it because money doesn't give it to you and like no powerful person ever at any point has stopped and said like you know what enough i've had enough money i'm, I'm not gonna make any money anymore where are those people no because we feel like we need more and more and more and more because we kind of feel like oh there is this one thing and when i get it i will feel the love i will feel the happiness that i need no we're not because it's not about the thing, it's not about the person, it's not about the money, it's not about the bag, it's not about anything. It's just about ourselves and our connection. And I feel like also 
a lot of the times we get anxious and obsessed and stressed and sad about things exactly for that reason because we set our priorities in a very incorrect order if we would put our kind of higher self let's call it again don't get stuck on the words our relationship with the divine with the source with the light with the love with whatever you want to call it like if we put this relationship there should be this connection like you can call it the connection to yourself to your inner child to your higher self to whatever if you honor this as your first priority and if you make time every day to honor this connection and if you make choices in your life based on honoring this connection and deepening it and strengthening it and whatever just this is your first priority and then everything else serves this priority your job your relationships your money your house whatever this is all kind of in the service of your development of your higher self of your enlightenment of whatever you want to call it i feel like we would give much less importance to people jobs money everything that i've listed before because we would not replace the one with the other because in the end everything that i have just listed will go we will go at some point but we are the only thing that we are going to have forever. And this connection to the divine source of love or whatever is the only thing that we are going to have forever. And if we put the burden of us feeling love, deserving and good enough on people, persons, money, houses, jobs, it's a recipe for disaster. It's going to fail at some point because, as I said, people leave jobs get cancelled and money gets lost and just it's not a stable foundation to establish anything and if your foundation in life is this relationship with the higher self or the divine or whatever then no matter how the other states of your life are you have a solid foundation because you are the person that you can count on and you are the person that you rely on and then if you lose your job you know that you have yourself and if you have created this job opportunity for yourself then maybe you will not maybe like you will for sure create another job opportunity just as good for yourself but maybe even better because you have already learned from this experience same with relationships same with money same with anything for example with the entrepreneurs the biggest people like in business have lost their money like they came back i think elon musk lost all of their money like went to zero and then they built their empire again and then they lost it again and then they built it up again because they really know how to do it and they this was not the purpose i don't know anything about elon musk for that matter but it's just kind of what I imagine it to be. And so what I'm trying to say is that the life would be so much easier if we actually would remember it at all times. And I wish it would. I feel like, of course, there is things to work through, but sometimes it's enough just to not wait for this thing that you want to achieve before you feel happy. You start doing what you want to do right now. You don't need a permission. You don't need to achieve anything, to establish this relationship with what you want, with the happiness, the divine you, whatever, you can already do that. And you can already claim the job that you want. You can already claim the relationship that you want. You might still need to learn things to get there. But if you start already kind of behaving like you at least believe that you deserve it, which of course you do, because if you want it, you want it for a reason, there is nothing stopping you and i feel like 95 6 7 8 9 percent of the time people just stand in their own way i see a lot of my friends wonderful beautiful brilliant people just standing in their own way and feeling not deserving of something where i'm like what is wrong with you 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 deserved it all along why why do you even think that and we are full of this bullshit and yeah so i feel like we just should drop this and I know that, of course, it's it's much easier said than done. I'm not kidding myself. But the more I see how it works, the more I just understand that if we were able to just shake it off right now, which actually, why not? You can just start believing it and then identify all of that stance in, in the way between you and that, what you want. You can just do it. Like, just do it. Don't wait for a permission to do it. Don't wait for a permission to start chasing your dreams. You don't need that extra education. Just go and do it. And if you want to change something about just like, go and change it just go and do it literally this is the secret okay i turned myself into shia labeouf <laughs> before i started screaming like crazy i will end this video here i wish you a super nice day night week month year life <laughs> love you very much be kind to yourself to others 